Good morning. I'm Teresa Cherniak, the principal planner for community planning. Um, so you've been hearing mostly about current planning and building. The other part of planning and development services is long-range planning. Um, and we look at the bigger picture issues, policy issues, um, changes to community plans, the comprehensive plan, uh, and the community development code. Um, so this presentation is to give you an idea of um, what we're working on right now. Um, and if you are interested in any of the things we're working on, ordinance development, that sort of thing, um, there is contact information at the end of the presentation. Please do let us know because part of, part of development of ordinances and plans is, um, is the public involvement part of it. So typically I've, I've come here when we've had our draft work program out for public review. That process is actually over now, so what we have is a, an adopted work program. It gets adopted by the Board of Commissioners each year and kind of gives our marching orders for what we're supposed to work on throughout the year. Um, the work program covers the work both of community planning, which is my section, and then transportation planning, which uh, is Erin Wardell's section, and she's in the back. Um, we have about 14 planners and about 12 support folks, including GIS staff. Um, so what we do, there are always more things to work on than we have staff to do. Um, so we, we lay out all the different possible tasks uh, and then we prioritize them. And tier one are the ones that are the highest priority, they're the major projects. They're the ones that we, we know we will be able to work on in the coming year. Um, tier two are other things that we will start on a little bit later in the year or that we, we will probably have to think about for the following year. And then tier three is maybe a bit of a, a, a placeholder. It's the, there are things that we know eventually we will need to work on, um, but at this point we, we don't have the staffing to do. Um, you can find the adopted work program on our website, um, and I imagine our website information is on some something that we've handed out. Um, so we do have 28 tasks um, for Tier 1 this year. Um, they're in four categories. Uh, to give you an idea, so regional planning really are the things that we do for future planning to meet the county gross needs. Um, so we do a lot of work with Metro, uh, we do work with cities um, to coordinate on, on long-range plans. Um, comprehensive or community planning includes um, tasks related to development of existing areas, um, but another area that we were really looking at this, we are really looking at this year, is um, housing affordability um, and what we can do within um, state law and our regulations to, to help with housing affordability. Transportation planning uh, includes tasks that um, help our transportation system meet the needs of a growing community. And then finally, potential code changes. Um, so that we're looking at our community development code and trying to make sure it stays up to date and responsive. So a big part of why we do uh, a work program is to get a sense of what ordinances we will work on each year. So the county has, probably most of you know, um, a limited time. It's established by our um, our charter, a limited time where the board or planning commission can, can consider land use changes. Um, and that's from March to the end of October. It's called the ordinance season. And so we get direction from the board each year on which things they want us to bring forward. So this year, um, it'll be a, a busy year. Uh, the food first, first one coming up is um, food carts. And so uh, right now, we don't actually allow food carts as a, a use. Uh, so this is to establish that they are an allowed use, but then also to establish the regulations that um, they'll have to follow to, to become approved. We have a couple urban planning area agreements, uh, Forest Grove and King City are the definite, but um, we will be working with other cities 
um, and probably moving those forward. So those are the agreements we have to um, how we coordinate with each other on our long range planning and also on development. So cities do get notice when there are county development applications close to their boundaries and, and vice versa. Um, there will be a TSP related um, ordinance. Uh, we'll be looking at map edits um, and updates, uh, some lane change things. I think it's a, a relatively minor TSP change. Um, fair housing and equitable housing. Again, affordable housing was a big issue for the board um, this year and last year. And so we have um, code changes that we'll be bringing forward uh, as a result of a, um, a consultant study that we did. Um, and we, we had a technical advisory group. We also did have a, um, a couple meetings with developer groups to try to get at what are some possible barriers and, and solutions. So that'll be coming up um, probably in June, July, where those will move forward. Earth Bethany has a couple of things. Uh, the Main Street uh, Urban Design Plan is moving forward. Uh, and then there's also a, a road that appears to be going through a wetland. Um, so we'll keep looking at, at changes to that. Um, we also, besides the ordinances, have a number of um, issue papers or studies that we work on um, and these are things that we do to figure out what exactly are the issues and how we might address them and how then might that move forward through possible changes to our plans or codes. Um, so this is a list of ones that we are working on this year. Um, the one of particular interest that it's the topic of the, the next speaker um, is an issue that we received the most feedback on in the draft work program. So we got 39 total comments and 33 of those uh, were about significant natural resources um, and how the county is currently implementing our significant natural resources regulations. So based on that level of interest, we, we upped that up to um, tier one. And, um, determined that we would do an issue paper first to make sure we understood what exactly were the issues um, with the way we are implementing significant natural resources. So developing a solid understanding of the historical context, how we got to where we are now. Um, we'll be explaining what the current regulations are um, so that staff and the public and the board all have the same understanding of what the regulations are. Um, then we'll be assessing what the current implementation has been and what the issues uh, are that have arisen. Um, the state expectations are also changing, so issues with current objective standards and needed housing, so we really need to understand all of that and how all of these things interplay. Uh, and then we'll be developing options to address the issues that are identified. 